Hello and welcome to the Nexus for the Star Trek Starship review. This is a web shop exclusive and it is the Assimilated Voyager. Just there. We also get a, a book with this. Let's have a look through the book quickly. Um, Intrepid Class Assimilated Voyager. Uh, so we get some, uh, just like we normally would. So we get uh, some in-universe information. This book, this ship is a web shop exclusive, but it is actually canon. So it appeared in the show. Um, there's like um, the Borg stuff that's all on top of it there. And then we come on how they designed uh, Species 8472. So this is how they, they came about designing uh, that species and how they wanted it to look alien and the use of uh, CGI. And this was like the, the, the springboard moment for them to use uh, CGI, as you can see. So this is how they went through all the process and how they wanted it to move and look. And and yeah, so this was um, the sort of green light that was given for them to continue to design um, CGI creatures. Uh, obviously, they used them heavily in uh, Enterprise, but Voyager was the starting point. Uh, and then we have a nice top view of the ship. So let's take a look at the ship itself. Okay, so the ship sort of sits like that. And there's a bit of an overhang on the back here, uh, but yeah, it sits in really nicely. I think um, I think the XL version sits a bit like this as well. It's got this similar design to it. Uh, but anyway, this is the ship um, with all of its sort of Borg tech sitting on the top there. Um, yeah, but it's plain underneath. <laughs> Uh, now, I don't think we ever saw the ship from underneath when all the Borg's tech was on top. So I'm just wondering whether they never did or never thought that anyone would see the underneath of it. But, uh, yeah, I would have thought there would be some some sort of uh, tech or Borg tech underneath this. But, no, we do get some uh, little overhang here. But, yeah, it's all on top, which is nice, I suppose, because when it's on the stand... You're not really going to see much underneath it anyway. So let's take a closer okay, look. Okay, so I was very much on the fence about getting this one. Um, it came up in a deal, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, but yeah, it's got the, the Borg tech on it there, as you can see. Um, it sort of just splashed on there um, with the black paint with a little bit of the green blotted in to represent sort of the Borg glow that you get. Uh, it's nice that it's got the tentacle bits coming up here, the bridge section which was on the ship and uh, covering one of the torpedo tubes as well. Um, it's obviously been digitally put on now. I love the way as well that they've been and managed to do the second deflector there um, with the Borg tech on it like that, which is really nice. Um, oh, I'm, I'm very much on the fence about it still. It's nice. Uh, it's part of uh, my Voyager collection, which is really nice. Um, but like I said, underneath, it's uh, it's pretty standard underneath. And that's from the side there. We've got some on the, on the cells there. Um, I suppose it is what it is. It's a nice one. Uh, I think replicating it at this sort of size as well is, is, is probably difficult. I think if they'd done any, this Borg design on, say, the XL version, I think it would have looked a lot, a lot, lot better. Uh, but it is what it is, like I said. I'm surprised this wasn't in the main collection. I mean, we got the Warship Voyager, um, which was on screen less than this one. <laughs> Uh, I'm just wondering whether it's um, sort of a marketing move because I think more people would have wanted the Borg version than uh, the Warship one. So it means that they can uh, sell this one as an exclusive and more people would buy it. But like I said, I was very much on the fence on it. I did get it in the deal, so I can't complain because uh, it, it cost me nothing. But uh, yeah, I really, really like it. It's It's growing on me. I've got to say it's growing on me. 
Um, like I said, I was very much on the fence on it, but um, it's sort of growing on me. It's, it's, it is Borg-ish. Uh, question is, does it fit with Voyager, my Voyager collection or my Borg collection? I think that's where uh, I'm going to have to see where <laughs> I think it might actually sit with my Borg collection uh, with the Borg ships that I have. Um, yeah. But like I said, it's, it's sort of uh, growing on me. Slightly. <laughs> uh, anyway, tell me what you think. I, I Like I said, I thought it was okay. Uh, it could have been improved by, but I think there's a lot of stuff that we could have improved by. It is what it is, I suppose. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, keep it a nexus, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.